What's up, everybody? Welcome back. All right, gonna be heading on to the next floor. Oh, whoops. I was assuming I'd kill him in one hit. Ah, shit. Alright, nice. Got some kind of treasure chest here. Ah, we got the hook. Ah, okay. Alright. That means I actually have to go take care of some stuff first. So I guess we are going to be leaving the dungeon here. Heading back to Queens and we're going to build some shit up. I figured I might as well look around here for some treasure chests, but I don't see any. <laughs> Got some cheese, I guess. That's something. All right, Rando. Let's see. I'm gonna hang on to one thing of heroin for now. I'm probably not gonna need these antidote drinks for now. Probably get rid of that shit. Escape powders. I really only need one. Probably not going to need multiples of these. I am going to hang on to that poison or anti poison amulet, I should say. I may have to go store some shit. Checked back here for shit. All right, cool. All right, let's head over to Queens and start building some shit. Yeah, I totally forgot there's another area over here. It's like three different areas you can fuck with.
Yeah, we'll put the sheriff's office over here. Why not? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I am going to put it over here. And the fountain. Why not? We'll put that shit over there, too. Wait, didn't I get a f Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I wonder where the hell that shit got off to. Yeah, I don't see any other treasure chests laying around. Uh, flapping fish. I'm not going to have time to use it, though. Yeah, I don't care. I'm still not going to have time to use it. But yeah, this is the only place where you can actually buy the keys into the back dungeons. So if I ever need, like, fucking, uh, you know keys for the back dungeon. I can just get it from here, but I'm not going to have time to use it, so I'm just going to trash it. I mean, thanks for the gift, but I'm just going to end up wasting it anyway, because I got a lot of shit I got to do here in Queens right now. Search around the outside. There we go. Got a bomb. That's pretty cool. Nothing up here. Fire and some cheese, <laughs> all right.
Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to get like a warrant or something to go into his house. Or some shit like that. His name is misspelled, though, in the character thing. That's funny. There's so many typos. Like, see, look, his name is spelled Stu up there. <laughs> fucking God. So many fucking misspellings in this game. It's fantastic. Whoever was the proofreader for this game should be fucking fired. <laughs> like, a lot. Not just fired a little bit. They should be fired a lot. Is holy shit. Yeah, I forgot to ask Stu what they need for the house. Shit. Is he over here? Yeah, he's got a pool on the top of his house. Alright, well that gives me something to work with. Yeah, I still don't have any, like, houses or shit over here. Although, actually, I do see a treasure chest. Nice, a fluffy donut. Alright, alright, that's good shit. I don't think I see any other treasure chests laying around here. Oh, I do see one over here though, I think. A grass cake, alright. Ooh, there are a couple. Actually, I forgot to check the sheriff's place. Alright, Fruit of Eden. A 
attack plus one. Alright, let's build this shit up. all done. Like I said, there's a lot of shit that I gotta take care of this time. So let's go over to Jack's place first.
<laughs> nice. I'm gonna wait to go to the king's hideout after I'm done with Joker. Uh, I just realized, actually, hang on. It's gonna bug me if I don't keep shit consistent. Not that it really matters that much, but still. I sell useless crystals. Come and buy some. Yeah, I mean, these crystals are useless, but... I mean, these ones are not. Actually, let me look at my inventory. See what I've got. Probably get rid of that. Honestly, probably not going to need a second one of those. I'm already working on synth sphering this one anyway. If what's his face has a weapon shop, I can just buy weapons if I need to synth sphere some shit. Probably get rid of that. I can buy these elemental things anytime, so I'm going to clear out some space here. Because again, I can buy these from the gaffer whenever I want. I can also buy them here, so... Plus, I have, like, a basically unlimited amount of cash at this point anyway. So, it's not like I'm worried about much at the moment. Alright. Nice, found another Fruit of Eden, a Wind Gem.
All right. Acquired some holy, all right. Fruit of Eden, good shit, good shit. Since there were a couple more that appeared, I want to just check around the house. Make sure that no more of that shit appeared. But it looks like we're good. Ah, screen was kind of acting a bit funny there. This game is pretty old, and I have used this disc a lot, so I'm not surprised that it doesn't run perfectly all the time. <laughs> All right. So I do know what I'm going to name her. 
in this run through, and I think it's the same thing that I, same name that I used in the last run through of this game. I do like the name Ruby, however, and we're gonna stick with a gem theme here instead of Ruby, and this is a bit of a bit of a uh, Pokemon joke for those of you guys who are familiar with the Pokemon games. Instead of naming her Ruby, I'm gonna name her Sapphire. Alright, cool shit. And she's actually one of the characters that I do use the most, because she is also an archery-based character. And I, again, I usually tend to stick with the archery-based characters. So, yeah. Being said, though, there is actually one more thing I want to do here. I'm going to head back over to Jack's store. There is one weapon that I do want to buy. <laughs> the big bucks hammer. Alright. The one weapon that I do want to buy is going to be the platinum ring. So that way uh, Sapphire has a better ring than just her default weapon. And since her weapon is still not built up very much yet, I'm still going to be relying mostly on Shion for now, at least for the rest of today's recording session. Which, honestly, yeah, I still got a pretty decent amount of time to fuck with today. I mean, I'm running a little bit low on time, but I still got probably at least a couple hours to fuck with today, so, yeah. Actually, let's see. Need more wind and holy. Alright. Let's see then. Could take the sense sphere off of this one. It ain't really gonna help that much, but it will help the overall stats, so I'm still gonna put that on there. Since it needs just wind and holy. Hopefully that'll take care of most of like the attack, defense, and speed buffs that I need. Plus I know I'm gonna have to use her for one of these levels coming up. For right now I'm still gonna stick mostly with Shion until I can do some off-screen grinding and build up Sapphire's weapons a bit more. Shit like that, but, yeah. Alright, definitely want to save the game after all that shit. For sure. Alright, there's one last thing I want to take care of here. Check out... Well, first, let's give you an even greater defensive buff. Okay, so Sapphire. Yeah, she's a little bit far behind on health and way far behind in the uh, um, thirst meter thing, but her defense is actually comparable, or at least pretty close to the other characters. 
So that's not bad. I'm gonna give you grass cake. And then let's see, what do I have in the way of, yeah, fruits of Eden? So her health is actually gonna be about the same. I'm only gonna be able to increase her thirst meter by two for now. But that's fine. It's a little annoying, but I can make do for now. Again, like I said, for right now, until I have time to, you know, get Sapphire's weapon up to par with my other characters. Because, again, Sapphire is a character that I do use a lot. I would say the characters that I use the most are probably Sapphire and one of the, and the last character that you unlock. The guy who uses the guns, which is a lot of fun, but uh, we don't unlock him until way later in the playthrough. Not way later in the playthrough, but, you know. It's going to be a while, probably. At least a few weeks. Probably more like several weeks before I unlock him. But, yeah. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm still going to be relying mostly on Shion, because, obviously, Falcon and Shion are the two characters that I've spent the most time building up their weapons. You know? Quite obviously. And there's Gaylord with his fucking frozen tuna. And then Sapphire. I'm going to spend a little bit of time building up Gaylord's weapon, but not much, because I don't use him very much. I tend to avoid him like the plague, because honestly, he's my least favorite character. But Sapphire, I like her play style. I also do like some other things about her, but we're not going to get into that right now. All right, anywho. <laughs> God damn it. I swear to God, I can't go two seconds without being a fucking asshole. Then again, that is kind of my specialty. It's like a hidden talent. I'm just somehow always a gigantic asshole. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, that should about do it. So I'm going to go ahead and save again, just to be on the safe side. But I know there's going to be a level coming up soon where I have to use Sapphire. But again, I'm going to wait to use Sapphire. Probably like once I get to the uh, desert place after Queens. Um, I'm going to... Uh, start using Sapphire a lot more. I would say I would say her playstyle is actually probably my favorite out of any of these characters. It's either her playstyle or the guy later on in the playthrough who has the guns. I would say between those two, those two have my favorite playstyle. I would say Shion's playstyle is my second favorite. I don't dislike the melee characters necessarily, except for maybe Gaylord, but I just prefer archery style combat. You know, keep me as far away from the danger as possible while still doing damage. That's kind of my philosophy. Pretty much when it comes to any game. Except for when I'm playing like Call of Duty or something, I'm not much of a sniper. <laughs> like I do sniping sometimes just for shits and grins, but I'm so fucking bad at it. It's fucking hilarious. I Man, I'm not that great at Call of Duty in general, but it is fun, so that's why I play it. It's always why I play all the games that I play. It's not because I care about being good at them. It's just because I care about having fun. All right. Well, either way, though, I've taken care of pretty much everything here in Queens. So next time, we're going to be heading back down into the dungeon, clearing some more floors, kicking some motherfucking ass and all that good shit. So, yeah. All right. Well, either way, guys, stay tuned. We'll see what happens next, I guess. And, uh, yeah, until then, peace out.